Iya. I know. my channel today me and my daughter are going to be doing this stay at home mom video for you guys if you guys end up liking this video make sure you like it give it a thumbs up let me know like in the comment section below if you have enjoyed princess Nyla being here today she is looking all over the place so she's probably not gonna be right here with us for this entire time but if she is I'm so excited to be doing our first mom and daughter video yeah say no daddy <laughs> okay so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like it and give it a thumbs up and let's get started today's video I'm gonna be talking about the five common misconceptions about being a stay-at-home mother what people don't realize what really goes on and what we wish we knew before we became a stay-at-home mom okay being a stay-at-home mom is really great because you get to see their milestones. You get to be with them all day. You don't ever have to worry about someone else watching your child because I know that can be very sad, very scary sometimes, and just something you don't want to have to worry about. But it's also really great to be at home because you are your constant baby's provider, like a carekeeper, caretaker, or you watch your child 24 seven. And so you're able to really make sure they're getting fed, make sure they're taking their nap time. And overall, you make sure they're great. Even though all of that is great, it's positive, it's wonderful. There are also some things we don't realize. The first myth that a lot of you guys don't realize and I realize is you're not just staying home all day doing nothing and watching TV and enjoying yourself. You're actually staying at home and working a full-time job without getting paid. By that I mean you're chasing your kid around, you're watching them crawl but making sure they don't get into stuff and even if they're a newborn or even if they're not that old yet to be crawling there constantly needing you to do things for them and with them they're constantly needing attention i know like she's ready to go play and crawl because she doesn't want to be picked up anymore because she crawls like you can just go ahead and get rid of i'm gonna have me time because me time is non-existent you're not just sitting at home and you know lounging on the couch like trying to conquer all your, your to-do lists before the baby wakes up or the baby is ready for their nap. Like, all of that, just throw it out the window. What we really miss is you're on the baby's schedule, okay? It is not on your schedule, but the baby's schedule. The baby will tell you what they want and will tell you what they don't want, okay? Let's move on to the second myth. The second myth is the baby is going to have a nap time. You're going to have a routine and it's going to work out for you guys. Let's just go ahead and say that is 80% true. 80% true. That really does happen sometimes. But the other 20%, the other 20%, you don't know you don't know where it, where it goes, okay? The baby wants to be constantly attached to the Exactly, she agrees. Your baby will want to be constantly attached to your hip and want to be with you. They don't want to be by themselves. Hello, that's why they're like, mommy, I want you all the time. It's almost like if I can explain to y'all, their body knows they want to go down. They know they want to go down. You know they want to go down. As you're like peering at the clock like, Go to sleep. They are literally like looking at you like <laughs> not today Satan. The third common 
myth that a lot of people don't realize that stay-at-home moms go through is every day is not the same. You will truly forget your days. I kid you not, my husband asks me every day like, hey babe, what did you do today? And if he asked me at 7 o'clock, I don't remember what I did before 6.30. Only the last 30 minutes is, is really what I remember. You of course remember, yeah, I put them down and I played with them and I did the dishes, but all that other time, it's like your brain is, is completely blank. You don't really remember. I want you guys to know that every day is not going to be the same. One day your routine might work. I know. One day your routine might work. The next day is completely out the window. Like, just know that, okay? I don't think you guys understand every day is different. Okay, every day, isn't it? It's really sad that you can't remember, but it's true. Like, Trey will come in and he'll be like, So, babe, what did you do today? And I'm like, hmm, my day was good and I don't remember. Every day is different, every day is the same. Hey, YOLO, we made it. That's all I, that's all I know. That's all I know. On to the next myth. Myth number four. You're just a stay-at-home mom. I mean, the title itself is misleading. I mean, you're not just a stay-at-home mom. You don't work. You don't do anything. And you just watch the daughter or the baby or the son. Like, is that right? Is that all I do? Have I been belittled? No, you guys. A stay-at-home mom just chooses to stay at home most of her day. But there's still way more things to do. Like, I stay at home, but I work from home as well. You know, like, it's not just back when our parents grew up or when they raised us and that's their job and the economy was wonderful to where women could stay at home. And even if you're in that boat, like, great. Like, hey, I'm trying to get there to be a stay-at-home mom who just supports her husband you know working and bringing in the money but you know even though I was that for like a few months it's still great but I like to be productive I like to do things and this is work but it's still not that human interaction. I know this is what I hear all day you know like it's not actual words I know but it's becoming words so that's all that matters. But you know, babes, like it's 2019. Yeah, she's gonna be a star one day. Start them young. It's 2019, babes. If you gotta bring those coins to the table, bring your coins. Oh, 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 oh. I think the last myth that kind of ties into the first one is stay-at-home moms don't have lives. Their lives kind of intertwine with everyone else, like. You have to watch your kid and you have to love your husband and it's not true you know like you're able to do some things that you want to do i know mama you're able to do whatever you want to do <laughs> and don't let anyone stop you from thinking that you know like you are important just as much as your child or your husband you know or your boyfriend like you are you and you have to have a life because you have to have a life outside of who needs life from you she agrees so that's really all the time i have for today if you guys enjoyed this video please like it share it let me know in the comments below like what your routine was and if you were a stay-at-home mom or if you chose to go to work like either or is great you know and if you do both let me know how you did that because honey life ain't easy and if there is another misconception that i did not discuss in this video trust me there will be another video coming and i think i'm going to be doing a mom q a pretty soon so just drop some questions let me know via instagram or via in the comments below what you guys hope to see and you know mom q a from me so i will see you guys next time and nyla has something she wants to say Nyla, look for it. Look right here. Nyla, look right here.
Uriah to say. You guys, y'all see this? This girl does this every time. She act like she ain't got nothing saying that she be talking when I'm talking. Nyla. Mm. Okay, well, that's all folks. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.